five years. Rusty, I've had a year now. Oh. He has been to different classes before, but what so, reacted? Yeah, but all he's really done with him is just got him used to another set of dogs, yeah. and then when I get home again, he's exactly the same. So. Oh, look at you, you're cute as well. Yeah. He's alright, he's friendly with people. All the good looking ones are naughty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we have tried different classes with him, but more group classes. Yep. And, and how old is he? Probably two now. now we've got him at a year, so we've had him about a year. Yep. Um, his reactivity, to be fair, only started after about six months of having him. Yep. So the irony being is he's got a group of friends that he absolutely loves. <laughs> but if it's a strange... It's a bit like me. Never, yeah, well, a group yeah. of friends and then everyone else can just go. Yeah. They can just get lost. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> so, uh, and to be fair, some of the things we've tried to pick up either from your online courses or from the other, co the other places we've been yep. have sort of worked inconsistently. Yep. Um, there's a few scenarios which hopefully I was going to talk through you recently. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're probably the key ones for me, really. <laughs> yeah. Rusty. Frank. Frank, you can have one just for doing f all. <laughs> Basically, yes, yeah. Don't have to worry about him. So what's he typically do when he when he sees a dog or reacts? Because he's not reacted to that one over there. So is um, it all dogs, certain dogs? Got Shelby, my, my worst case scenario is where I live, yeah. the nice thing with a cold that. sack yeah. that backs onto fields. Yeah. So the end of our road is a thoroughfare for every dog in the neighbourhood yeah. to, to walk past, yeah. to get to. So, so when he comes out the house, he is absolutely like looking for, and then once I get him out and walking, he's fine. <coughs> yeah. My biggest challenges are, if I've got a dog coming on the pavement opposite, and he sees it coming down the road, and I'm on that pavement, my only option is to turn around. Yep. So I'd love to be able to Walk past the dog. keep walking past another dog that's, that's away. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing, and this is what speaks me, I thought, oh, I need to get this fixed. I was in the field a little while ago, on my own, middle of nowhere, just minding my own business. Yep. He must have seen I smelt a dog a couple of fields away, and he just oh. went. Yeah. And I could hear the barking and the commotion and the pe other own dog owners cursing him. So, yeah, it's, it's inconsistent. So really. if you was walking down a pavement and a dog suddenly started walking towards you, that yeah. triggered him to react? Yeah, or walking behind him. But okay. I'm, I'm absolutely gobsmacked that he's not paid any attention to that dog. Well. And he has seen it because he looked over and fixated on it a, a minute ago and then just went back and looked away. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my dog. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you sort of standing here at this gate. Yeah. And then when I say now, I want you to start walking down and I'm just going to walk out with my dog. Just to gauge cool. what, what he's like. Yeah, and brilliant. We'll go from there. Same with Jack Russell, though. Harness. Does that have a little clip on the front? I've got it. Uh, no. It's just, so I've, I've, used, I've got used to using him on a harness because when yep. I took him to the classes, yeah, he just seemed a bit calmer. Not that he looked like it then. No, no. Um, I've just got to have it using his harness because he seems calmer. Trouble with the harness is the harness is on on this back bit here. Yeah. This is going to give him hello, beautiful. It's going to give him mixed messages. So. What the back clip's designed to do on the harness is it's designed for a dog to pull. Because yeah. when you pull back, yeah. their chest plate tightens, right. so in their eyes, the load's got heavier, you're asking them to pull harder. So you've got no ability to have control of him, correct him, or anything like that. Um, has he got, he's got no problems or issues with his neck or head or anything like that, has he? Oh, right. So all this is bingo colour, which is effectively this. Yep. So it's high up. Drive a little problem down. Yep. Just so I can put a couple of fingers underneath. Okay. That was a perfect example of Losing what he's like when he's not knowing what to do. Yeah, all I'm doing is then dragging him away. Yeah, no, that's cool. You've got a couple of his traits? Yeah, I've got 
dry treats and a little bit of sausage. Enjoy it. I hope you appreciate this, mate. I'm taking my glove off oh. <laughs> so I can feel the treats. So all I'm doing is teaching a bit of pressure and release. Applying a bit of pressure. When he comes to me, if you don't want the food because he's too worked up, Mark and reward it a little bit of fuss. Good boy. Do you want Come. <laughs> sit. 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 No, you ain't getting a treat. Sit down. Very nervy. Spanish called Potato is the untrainable dog. No dogs untrainable. Good. Right there, I'm gonna reward that because he engaged his nose and started to sniff. Good boy. Good lad. Ah, sit. 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 Sit properly. Sit. Can do it. Want to get a hot dog? Nope. <laughs> I don't use bribery. Right. <laughs> he gets rewarded when he does something right. Sit. Dogs are very selfish by nature. They'll always opt for the behaviour that benefits them the most. Basically, they're like children. So when you give him a correction, he goes, right, okay, didn't like that. But what can I do differently now for that not to happen? So then when he realises his reacting don't work because that comes with a consequence, you start to see his true personality and true character as to why he's reacting. He's scared of her. But what he's doing is he's offering me alternative behaviours because he's looked at her and it's fine for him to look for two or three seconds to acknowledge there's a dog there, but then he needs to look away. And you make that look so easy and that's the bit that I'm concerned about is having the confidence to know I can do that. But again, that's my job to teach you how to do that. Well, dog training's easy, but a lot of dog training is training the person. Exactly. And if I can't teach learn. you what to do with him, I'm not a dog trainer, I'm a dog handler then. Mm. I've got to be able to transition what I do onto you, so going forward, you're confident of doing it. Yes. Dogs like humans have a threshold. So yeah. me standing here talking to you, you're comfortable. If I got right up in your face and I'm talking to you, I was gritting my teeth as I was talking to you, you're gonna go, whoa, back the f up. Yeah. because I've gone in your space. Yeah. Reactive dogs have a threshold, but it's a lot less than most dogs that don't react. Yeah. You know, they, they can see a dog from 10 foot, 20 foot away, and they'll, they'll be kicking off already, yeah. because they've got a small threshold. Yeah. He hasn't got a particularly small threshold, he, he, he's just a bit of a dick, where he sees a dog and panics, yeah. and goes, oh my God, what's that? Get, the f me, get me out of here. And then we go, okay, come on, let's go. Coda, come. So see right there, when Coda came around the corner, he looked and went through. So I gave him a little leap off and just go, don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Because again, I don't want him to explode before he gets a correction. Because then that correction is going to be firmer. Because like in the beginning, he threw himself up on his back legs. So the correction looked OTT. Whereas in reality, the correction is this. Wait. It's a leap hop. Yeah. So let's get you just walking him up and down first so you yep. feel comfortable. Literally, the corrections are effortless. Like, in the beginning, he made it look very <laughs> dramatic. But it is literally a little leap hop like that. Yeah. Thank you. Do I need to stop with a nice, relaxed arm? Do I need to stop as well? Because I think if I stop, he will stop. 
but it's getting him to heal rather than stop that struggle. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so when you're walking, when you correct him and give him a leap off, you'd say to him, heal. Yeah. What you're starting to teach him is heal me by my side. Mm -hmm. But again, if more than one person walks him, say you walk him on your left, your wife walks him on, the, on your right. Say you walk him on your left and your wife walks him on her right and you both use the word heal, that will confuse him. Heal side specific. So if you wanted to walk him on your right and use the word heal, that's fine. But if your wife wanted to walk him on her left, She'd have to use a different word. Some people would use close yeah. or, or, or switch. The minute you see Sophie, watch his body language. Yeah. And before he reacts, give him a little leap up to keep walking. Don't throw your face down. You don't you don't freeze up. It's just a pop and a rope to keep walking. And again, at all points when you're walking him, your arm should be nice and relaxed by your side. At any point you feel tension, or he's drifting over here, yeah. don't do what you just done there, where you kind of go with him to accommodate him pulling you over there. Yeah. This is your walk. Uh -uh, we're going this way. Mm -hmm. And it's just a little leap off. Oh, like the hamstring. They are, they're possibly... Do they live with each other or no. if you go and visit? You know? No, like if you visit, but we'll just have to kind of bring them. No, so and to be fair, and it sounds like an absolute cop out, that is the answer. Um, but if you do, no, I do understand people yeah. want to and do. When, but I don't understand this need to take your dog everywhere to everyone's house. But no. it's family. So yeah. if you are going around and you're spending a bit of time, you want to take your dog initially, you want to keep both dogs on the lead. Both dogs calm. It's not about them interacting with each other because you've got to remember your dog's going to have different energy levels to him. He's going to have a different energy levels to your dog. And if you don't advocate for him and go, oh, it pack it in or don't do that, he's going to go right. I'll fucking deal with it because I've had enough. Yeah. Or your dog can turn around and go, I've had enough of you. I'm going to have a go. Yeah. It's about teaching them to coexist. All dogs know how to play, but not a lot of dogs know how to just chill out and relax around other yeah. dogs. 